What's up guys, continuing on here from my last video where I talked about the use of a barbell alongside a total gym. In this video, I thought I'd show you guys another excellent, possibly for some of you guys, a little more practical supplemental tool to use. Uh, that's a kettlebell along with your sliding bench trainer. So I know I'm preaching to the choir for a lot of you guys because uh, many of you have written in and said that you use a kettlebell uh, predominantly along with your uh, total gym. A lot of you guys even told me you use it as a form of external weight. If you guys get two of the same weight and you put it onto the weight bar attachment and you guys have told me that feels pretty good as like a unique feel attention because of that distal load the kettlebell gives off. So that's something else that I uh, haven't tried yet because I don't have two of the same kettlebell. But even with just one kettlebell and just one size, I think you guys can actually get a lot of great results. For males, I typically recommend 35 pounds as a nice kind of average starting point. And then for females, I would say 25 pounds. I said starting point, but honestly, just with that simple, just one weight, can give you guys an array of exercises and definitely provide you guys, like I said, with some great results. The kettlebell you guys are seeing in this video, I've had for many years. This was from Lifeline. Uh, back when they used to make uh, USA-based kettlebells uh, made in Wisconsin, they no longer do that. I think they sold the company, so that's kind of offset somewhere else now. But uh, I think getting a good quality kettlebell is definitely important. It doesn't have to be made in the USA, but definitely getting a good quality cast iron kettlebell. I think the best ones for the money, um, I think are kettlebell kings right now. Uh, as far as like a nice, they're not too expensive, but they're also not like cheaply made either. Uh, you can find those on Amazon. I'll link that down below, or you can go directly to their website. Either way, you guys help support me in the channel and also get yourself a good quality product in the process. So in this kind of relatively brief video here, I'm just going to be displaying the usefulness and complementary nature of a kettlebell training alongside with a sliding bench trainer. Now, this is not going to be like a how-to video on proper kettlebell form. That would take a little more of an exhaustive video or videos, I should say. Uh, but I just want to show you guys that even with just learning some simple staple foundation kettlebell exercises can be very useful and effective uh, with that being said what you guys are not seeing here is I spent a lot of years trying to perfect even just these simple basic ones uh, with some kettlebell certifications the point is kettlebell training can seem really easy like almost all resistance training can but it does take like I've been saying in the last few videos take some skill and repetition and practice kind of dial down the form and technique and so what I did in this workout was again what I've been suggesting in a lot from more previous videos and is basically using my workout poster shameless plug but that's basically the template that I've been following following in many videos. I'll put that link down below if you guys are curious, but I basically went through some total gym chest exercises, back, legs, did a core exercise, and then did a pair of single joint exercises. And at the end, I'd follow up with what I dubbed in that poster, just some supplemental exercises. In this case, I was just using my kettlebells. And like I said, I've just been sticking with what many consider like kind of foundational kettlebell exercises that most people are recommended to kind of start out with and progress with. I'll kind of list these in the order of, I would say, learning curve. First, starting out with just doing a basic kettlebell deadlift. I think this is a great way to just teach foundational uh, hinging patterns in general, other than first starting with the barbells. So I think kettlebell deadlifts are great. Uh, then progressing into a kettlebell goblet squat. Just looks kind of, otherwise my people might call it like a front squat, but goblet squat does have a certain little form to it. Instead of just grabbing it, you want to grab it by the horns, kind of tuck your elbows in, have a nice vertical torso. Uh, within a goblet squat, it's a nice kind of natural transition from the kettlebell deadlift. Uh, then progressing, which I would say is probably the most popular kettlebell exercise, probably the most abused exercise, probably in the gym in general would be the kettlebell swing. So there's some technique in form with this. Generally, it's all mostly hip driven. It's not meant to be like a squat to frontal raise like with a dumbbell. So there's some unique uh, characteristics with the kettlebell swing, but that would be the next logical progression. Uh, great interval exercise tool in general or ex interval exercise. Uh, then I would say progressing into like a kettlebell clean. Again, this, this is really deceiving in this exercise. I've taught many people throughout the years how to do proper kettlebell uh, cleaning, positioning from trainers, even to students. And the main thing is it looks relatively easy. You're just getting the, the kettlebell from the ground up to the top of your, to the rack position, one fluid movement. But what t people tend to do is they flip the kettlebell over, hitting their wrist. And this kind of does two things. The kettlebell rack, kettlebell clean teaches you how to just kind of con control like doing a kettlebell high pull, which that would probably be the first progression, but teaches you how to do a, a proper clean how to control the weight, but then also how to get into that rack position, which is basically holding the kettlebell from that top position. From here, once you kind of master down those uh, different positions, especially the kettlebell rack clean and rack position, you can go into things like kettlebell uh, overhead pressing and stuff like that as well. I didn't do too much because I had my Apple Watch on. That was kind of annoying because I didn't want to break the thing with the cleaning and pressing. After you guys get comfortable with handling some of these basic foundational kettlebell exercises, which like I said, can definitely take some time. That's part of the fun of it. Then you can kind of lead into other complex kettlebell moves like the Turkish get up like you guys are seeing here. And of course, there's so many other just basic exercises you can do and get creative with just to simply either supplement 
implement with a total gym or just kind of like an offset off the machine to do some basic stuff like dumbbell curls, uh, just doing some simple pressing, doing some chest pressing, rowing. Uh, you guys even seeing, I think might, you might see it in this video where I just kind of put the weight on my lap here and just kind of weight the total gym on that way. So I think when you consider the portability or just compactness of this tool and then the versatility and then certainly the complementary qualities of a kettlebell, especially with these outdoor workouts with your total gym or sliding bench trainer, then I really think they warrant uh, some consideration for most people to definitely consider picking it up and adding it into their home fitness regimen. But that's really it guys. I just want to make a more brief video kind of showing some of the things you guys can do and it's complimentary nature with a total gym. I think it's something I have just honestly forgot about because my kettlebell has been in my storage room and just kind of was out of sight, out of mind, even though I knew it, it, it is a valuable tool, especially again with these outdoor workouts. Love to hear what you guys have to say about how you guys implement kettlebell training and any comments you guys might have. Uh, definitely in the comment section and I know I didn't go into great detail about to about form uh, but it you know it does take some time and if you guys are curious and you're interested in that and you guys want some of my personal uh, instruction on that definitely go to my website and check out the services tab if you guys want to do any one-on-one uh, -on -one consultations we can set that up as well so that's it guys any questions comments feedback let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you